Good evening. My name is Matt George, and Sacramento basketball is like a fraternity. Everybody knows each other, including Sacramento Kings head coach Mike Brown and Sac State head coach David Patrick, who are longtime friends. The Nest, never an easy play or place to play for any opponent, and it's the home of the Hornets seeking their 10th win of the season and a 3-1 start to Big Sky Conference play. Mike Brown, King star De'Aaron Fox, and his wife, Rose, sitting courtside supporting David Patrick and Zach State Hoop. Now, early in this game, it was the Gianni Hunt show taking the feed from Callum McRae for the layup and showing off the range with his wing three-pointer. Hunt led the way with Zach State for 16 points on the night. Always exciting and incredibly athletic. A Cole Maywin shows off his bounce off the dribble, blowing by his man and throwing down the two-handed slam. But it doesn't just happen on offense. Watch him submit his application for a volleyball scholarship with this swat at the rim. But he wasn't done with just one. So nice, got to do it twice. This time sending Matt Johnson's second shot nearly into Coach Brown's lap. In the second half, big man McCray got going. The seven-footer finished with 15 points, 11 rebounds. That's a double-double. He even flirted with a triple-double with seven assists. Sac State holds on to defeat Northern Colorado 72-64, improving to 10-7 and on the season. After the game, Coach Patrick and Coach Brown talked about their relationships and supporting one another. Oh, it was awesome, man. When I got that text from him last night to tell me he was coming, uh, it was great. So to have him and De'Aaron Fox come there at games, I'm a big supporter of him as a man and a person. Uh, to have him at our games is really, really good. We've always supported each other from afar, you know, and I told him one day maybe our paths will cross and we may work together. But right guy for the job. He's got this thing cooking right now, and you're still going to see a lot of good things happen here because he's a terrific human being first, but an awesome coach second. So Sac State's lucky to have him.